Hey guys, welcome to our tip number 47. And today what we're going to be doing is making this gorgeous heat map of customer purchasing habits. And this is actually a really useful visualization to help explain some business insights. So um, we're also going to be going over today a key rookie mistake that we're going to want to avoid. Uh, so we're going to be actually sorting this to make this visualization really helpful in identifying some customer similarities. So this heat map is actually sorted by this column here. And you can see the gradient that goes down and you can see that these uh, these customers up here at the top are purchasing more elite road bikes. And you can see that as it goes down, 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 it gets lighter and lighter. And you can see that these customers down here are actually producing or purchasing less elite road bikes. And we can see over here other columns like this one here, where you can see that they're starting to actually purchase more country cross country race bikes. So these are actually mountain bikes. These are road bikes. So these customers tend to like uh, country, uh, cross country or mountain bicycles a lot more. And you can see also it's, they're starting to tick up over here where you got over mountain bikes, sport bikes, trail bikes. So, um, it's really interesting. And this is a great visualization where you can get some key business insights. So let's see how to make this. Um, first, what we're going to do, uh, if you want to follow along with this tutorial, sign up for our weekly R tips and you can sign that up right here. What you're going to do is you're going to do a get pool. Um, and you're going to see that it, uh, pulls in the new data. You're going to go into your files pane and scroll down to the bottom here. You're going to have 47 now files. Uh, and we're going to be working on this out of this one here, the 47th one customer heat map. So click this, um, and then open up. You'll find that there's an RDS file in here. And then there's also customer heat map 047. Just click that file. It'll open this one up right here. Okay. Uh, next, what we're going to do is load in some libraries. We're going to be loading in the tidyverse and tidyquant. So these are two of our most common libraries that we're going to be using. Uh, the tidyverse contains ggplot2 and uh, all of the data wrangling like dplyr packages and tidyquant's my tidyquant package. I created it. It's for financial analysis, but it has some cool ggplot themes that we'll be using. Next, load in the data. I'm going to run these two lines of code, hitting control and enter. And what you're going to see is that we pull in this data frame. So it's going to be in our environments pane, this sales by customer tibble. Um, and it's going to have bike shop, product category, and quantity. So what this is, is uh, an aggregated data set of customer purchasing behavior. The customer is here uh, listed in this column. And you can see that the product is listed in this column and it's been aggregated. So this customer has purchased 48 cross country bikes, nine fat bikes, 13 over mountain bikes, 35 sport, and so on. So we have this for all of our different customers. You can see that this is 270 rows by three columns. Um, so what we're going to do next is we're going to get our data prepared. So first what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to skip this section here. And I want to show you what happens when we create a customer heat map. So what we're going to be doing is we're taking that sales data set and we're going to group it by bike shop. And what we want to do is instead of work off of quantity, because some customers may purchase order of magnitudes more, which meaning 480, you know, another customer might purchase 480 of these. And when you try and compare those two customers, so what you want to do is you want to go off proportion. So we're going to create a column called prop. So let's do that here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to run these three lines here and we're going to see what happens. I'm going to hit control and enter. And I um, didn't run this piece here and I'm actually creating, doing a rookie mistake. And I'll show you this here in a second. So um, we're going to do this prop column. And what this does is create the proportion column. Cool. So next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down here and I'm going to create my heat map. So I'm going to take that prop by customer uh, Tibble and I'm going to then first map the product category and bike shop name to the ggplot. So when I do that, um, by running this code, I now have product category on the X. So remember product categories right here. This is our X. This is our Y bike shop names on the Y. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create my heat map using geom tile. Now this is key here. I'm filling by the proportion. So I'm going to hit control and enter and you see how it now has these color coded. 
Um, and the first thing I notice is that this is kind of a mess because uh, I have some bright colors, which is a high proportion, um, but they aren't sorted here. So what we're going to do, this is the rookie mistake that I was talking about, is we want to actually get these sorted. So we'll just continue and see what our plot looks like. So I'm going to now run this line. I'm going to add geom text, control enter. And now I have the um, actual values shown in here. And I can see this one's 36% right here, Louisville. Um, this one's 37, Ann Arbor. So you can see these are the customer proportions of products that they're buying. Um, we'll go down here, we'll adjust some of the theming. So I'm gonna run this here um, to get the theming looking a little bit better. And then I'm gonna add some labels. Um, and you can see here what the labels look like once I start adding in, and now we have some good information. And then here at the bottom, I'm going to do theme TQ and I'm going to adjust some of the theme elements just to get this thing looking great for our heat map. So control enter. So, um, this is our sort almost finalized heat map. But the issue that I see with this is that what I really want to know is I want to know which customers are similar. And right now it's just ordered alphabetically. So I don't want my customers, I don't really care about the alphabetical order. And what I want to do is I want to pick and figure out which of these columns has the highest proportions in them. And I can see here uh, that these have 37%. So most customers are buying these products. So I want to sort by this column. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go back up here and I'm going to now run the entire code uh, not now, uh, not avoiding or uh, now avoiding this rookie mistake. So we're going to sort by our top product. So if we remember our data set here looks something like this, where we got this prop column. So we actually want to, we don't really need this quantity column anymore. So we're going to remove that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pivot this wider by, um, the product category. So it's going to split these out over the top and use the proportions and fill that into the the uh, the middle so the values are going to be proportion the names from are going to be the product category and my id column is going to be the bike shop name so we don't want this to move so we're going to run this now control enter and now i have all of my products split out and what i can do is just quickly i see here you know in my visualization that really i want to sort by this elite road column so i'm going to take a look and i want to sort by this column so i'm going to use this next line here arrange and you put the negative sign because that's going to sort it by the maximum value. So you want the maximum at the top and it's going to now um, sort by this elite road. You can see in Indianapolis Velocipedes, those are going to be the top because they have 37 uh, proportion of 37% uh, of their bikes that they purchase are elite road bikes. And then you have the next one. Um, then we're going to now, what we're going to do is use this cool technique. We're going to use factor reorder and that's going to reorder these bike shop names by the elite road proportion. So if I do this, control enter, it doesn't look like anything's changed, but actually the factor, the underlying position of these are now changing. So when I plot these, it's gonna change. And then I'm gonna use pivot longer to get it back into basically the, the, the original shape. So it's bike shop name, it's in the long format product category. So basically we just pivot longer. So now let's just run this and let's take another look at this heat map. We're just going to run the same heat map code now that our um, categorical column, which is the bike shops, have been resorted. And now this is where the big benefit is, is we can see specifically which customers are buying which products sorted by the top product purchases, which is the elite road. So we can see Indianapolis, Austin Cruisers, Ann Arbor Speed. These are all very similar customers. You can see that they're they're purchasing a lot of the, this elite road. They're purchasing a lot of endurance road together. Um, so these are the types of products that these two customers are purchasing. And then you can see conversely, as we go down the list, uh, we can see it gets really light, especially right down here uh, after. So starting with Denver bike shops, they're purchasing a lot more cross country bikes, a lot more mountain bikes, a lot more trail bikes. So that's what these customers tend to like. So now we have a really impactful visualization that is something that you can show to management and basically say, hey, I've got these business insights. All right, so if you wanna learn more, this is a, an awesome heat map. Hopefully you learned a good technique. Um, I do have a free master cat class that has the 10 secrets that I teach. Uh, visualization is just one of the 10 secrets. I also uh, talk about Shiny. Um, AWS, I talk about machine learning, H2O, which is one of my favorite packages, uh, Tidyverse or Tidy Models, 
uh, which is my other favorite pack, pack, uh, package for machine learning and several other cool techniques in that masterclass. It's free. I definitely recommend checking it out. I'll leave a link in the notes. Um, and then also if you're looking at really taking your skills to the next, next level, um, check out my five course R track. It'll take you from beginner to expert in under six months. So it's really powerful. Um, all right. I'll catch you guys in another couple weeks and we will have a new R tip coming soon. See you later.